Hey, what is up everybody? It's Timur here. So, in today's video, we have Wilson Games striking again. So pretty much he farmed a decent amount of views and it's time to farm another one. So pretty much this is what we have for today's video. Um, Wilson Games accused me of using an aim lock. Keep in mind, I already watched the whole thing, so I kind of know what's going on. And basically, not just me, but SDF and Jay Griffin, they both watched it. The SDF watched Jay Griffin watching this video, so you could go and check his thing out. There's one thing that I noticed in particular, that Wilson Games did not include a single link to the video, which I asked him why did he not. Pretty much he took out clips, which happened in completely different days, which have appeared completely different dimensions. It's like, there's some clips that are so old, that are nearly multiple months old, when I played with Throke, and it was a long time ago. But uh, here we go, this is what we have for today's video. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 31.6%, wait a second, actually is it 31%? 32.4% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, and the rest didn't. Consider to press the subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken builds. But unfortunately, in today's video, we got Wilson Games. And, uh, well, today we gotta watch a clown making a review of uh, something that he has no fucking idea what he is even talking about. Let's get to it. Basically, I don't wanna go through the whole video, it's a complete bunch of nonsense. But uh, here, I made timestamps where there was some stuff that happened. So pretty much, first thing first, 126. Let's go to the 126. I don't want to hear him yapping. It's a complete waste of time. The first game I played was Repose. It happened um, not that long time ago. All right, so you can clearly see that the whole footage is skipped frame by frame. And um, he's not showing the full clip, surprisingly, which we'd have to change. And uh, we'd have to go and find this clip so that you'll also see it from my perspective. No, the clip just skipped to the next one. No, 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 we gotta find this one. One second. New most broken barbarian built to storm teams. Well, Wilson Games, I'm doing your job right now. Here we go, I found the clip. Throw an axe. Just run at him. Hit him with the bar dish. Looks very regular. Looks very normal. Alright, let's try to see what's actually going on here. The homie has a blue pawn on, he has nowhere to go. Um, pretty much a free target practice. There is really nothing crazy here. The only option where the guy could go is to the right, just as simple as that. There's really not that much he could do here. Alright, next clip. A guy walking the straight line. I threw to Francesca at him. He was not even paying attention at me. It's like, what even the point of an aim but when the guy is not even paying attention to me? Like, I just don't understand. <laughs> like, it's the guy is a fucking free target, fucking target practice. Like, I aim in a straight line. I expect him that he probably tried to duck or something. He doesn't. And I just readjusted where he's at. The longer you hold, the faster the throw will be. That's also, you know, include that. And I do a flick. You know, gotta make it look like a pro. That's all. Right now, the thing is, it's his video. I'm not trying to slow down anything. It just... I I don't even aim directly at him. The aim is past his body, and then the crosshair is on him. Like, what is so suspicious when the guy is walking a straight line? I walk in a straight line, he does too. Basically, that's all. What kind of assistance do you need to hit a guy who is walking a straight line? I'm genuinely fucking curious. Another clip of great evidence. Another guy walks in a straight line. Jump crouch. Throw axe. Readjusting the head. I don't understand. There is nothing suspicious. Like, literally, just... Uh... Let's watch it again. Frame by frame. Okay. Jump crouch. We play on a fighter. I aim directly where he will be. I land on a box. I aim at the book. He's going from point A to point B all the way to the doorway. I throw at him. That's all. He So basically, I aim at his head for half a second and... Oh, not even for half a second. For two frames. <laughs> and he found that as a cheating. That's just a basic flick. That's the easiest throw in your life. The guy walks in a straight line. He's not fucking trying to duck. He's not trying to dodge. Just a straight line. There is nothing crazy about this throw. This is a very fucking weak evidence. Here we go, we got another one. This build feels like cheating. 30% action speed barb. Okay, well, we have to find this one really quick, so yeah. 
So it's a one month old video. Are you fucking with me? Let's find this in the comment section real quick. Oh, here we go. The guy running a straight line. I remember this moment. Uh, Frog block him with a trend. Why do you need an aim but when it's already a free kill? I'm just curious. I remember I hit Frog for half his HP. Oh no, I almost killed him by the way. It was really... It was hitting hard, not gonna lie. It's fucking just a random flick. It's like I play with high DPI. Why would an aim but aim at your friend? It is so fucking advanced. That's like the whole point. If uh, the aim bot is so smart, why would it aim at your teammates? It's just stupid and doesn't make sense. He didn't include the link, so here we go. This is a very old video. It happened a long time ago. Two months ago. More than two months. Probably like two and a half or something. Here we go. Check it out for yourself. In case if you don't want to, here we go. I found it for you. There's one thing I'm generally curious. What is the purpose of an aim bot when it's ready a free kill? To fucking hurt your teammates? Oh, that's fucking some stupid ass aim bots. Let's be real here. It just shows the fact that uh, Wilson Games is just kind of, kind of slow. All right, next clip. My aim bot snapped towards the mob. I'm genuinely curious. Why would you need an aim bot to kill mobs? What is the, even the purpose to have a very smart human-like aim bot that will fucking aim for mobs? Can you not kill mobs yourself? They fucking stand still, you know? Alright, a throw. Another throw. Stab. Oh, here we go. I do a very simple dragon tag. You stab past the person and you want to aim for the head. So basically, the moment you extend your longsword all the way to the end point, you quickly drag and that's why it looks like my fucking aim disappears. Because I do like fucking almost 180 degrees turn around in like fucking, you know, very short period of time. I do instant flick as you can clearly see here. I aim past his head and I drag really wide. It's a very known tag by the way. It's called dragging. I aim past his head. I want to make sure that I don't hit his shoulder or his back. I want to hit his head. And boom, I instantly swing very hard. It's like very fucking hard motion. And then what? I hit a mob in the head? Ah, bro. Wilson Games, I think you just need a person who will coach you how to play the game. Basically what you see here is a simple dragging attack. And if you don't know how to execute it, it means that you just need uh, someone to teach you. A coach. So, yeah. Once again, frame by frame, I aim past him so that the sword is fully extended. You, if you practice it, it's not that hard, and then you just uh, try to go for a head. I still don't understand why do you need an aim but to kill a goblin when you play this game for four and a half thousand hours. Like, I'm genuinely fucking curious. Here we go, I found this video for you. Um, this is what Wilson Games has to say about it. I killed Wizard and my aim but snap to kill a goblin. Question mark, why do you need an aim but to kill a goblin? He says that an extremely smart, humanized version, then why do we need to set it up to attack goblins? What the fuck? Alright, we got another clip, 721. Let's go see what he has to show here. Oh, my aim bot snapped on the goblin's head again, right? Wow. It's not the same games, by the way. Like, it's completely different fucking games. I feel like this is such an old video, by the way. This happened during the multi-class, as you can clearly see. It's like... It doesn't even snap anywhere. It's like, what, two frames towards the goblin means it's a snap? That's a weird fucking aim, but let's be real here. Like, what is he trying to fucking show here? That my aim but snap towards the goblin? No way. He can't be this fucking dumb, could he? Alright, so we have another clip of an aim lock. Let's check it out. In this one, he shows an example how I threw a torch and how the torch directly went toward the fighter. So yeah, give it a shot. I feel like this is a really shameless clip because the torch has a different animation compared to Francesca X and there is a slight delay when you throw it. It's, and okay, let's assume, let's assume there is an aim, but what is the purpose of an aim, but when you throw a torch? 
to do 5 damage. So he doesn't show the clips where I'll do some crazy stuff in the melee fight, but he shows some fucking most pointless bullshit there is he could come up with. Like, okay, sure, that would be a perfect headshot. It's just not gonna help me in any way, shape, or form. It's gonna do like, what, 3 damage? Show the rest of the fight then. Another good example. Let's take a look at it. I dragged my aim. It's just a basic flick. And the aim went past the body. I mean, what is the matter with this clip? What is suspicious? He doesn't show it in a full speed, he showed when it slowed down. When you look at it in a normal version, you'd realize things are moving too fast and you'd have to readjust at a fast rate, so... It's very fucking... I simply tried to compensate where the guy is gonna be. And once again, he did not show it, so let's go try to find this way down. Alright, so I'm doing some fakes from time to time. Throw. Fake. Throw. That's all. Like, he was literally two feet away from me. Just a free target. I mean, <laughs> like, this just seems like very basic fucking throw. I also, by the way, um, was memeing with Seriously Soapy. You could go and check it out. All right, here we have another clip. However, I killed a person in a very suspicious way. Seems like it was an aim, but... The thing is, the guy doesn't show all the fuck-ups, or he doesn't know how many times I fucked up before I was able to get a good kill. I could show you a good example where I fought a druid for 8 minutes straight, did everything perfectly, but I still end up getting bare-formed. If you watch it, this clip very slow, first thing first, the rat dies, and only then I flick. I drag my aim to land hit, because I didn't expect that the first hit initially would have killed the rat. First, I killed the guy, and only after that, I dragged the mouse. So, the aim bot triggered after the guy was already right dead. Interesting. Here's an example of a stuff that I usually don't show because I don't find it entertaining. I ended up dying, and I don't showcase how I die because I make highlight videos, and when you make highlight videos, you want to showcase yourself in a good light. Well, that's pretty much self explanatory. The thing is, I only include like 15, maybe 20% of the highlights. And uh, the Wilson included like 0.1% of already a highlight video, so he took the highlights of the highlights. Here an example how I tried to get a hand of him. I know he's gonna turn into bear if I try to run at him. He tries to close the door. I hit him right a second before he turned into a bear. And then we once again, we try to fucking play Tom and Jerry gameplay. He's running away. And he kept doing it for 8 fucking minutes straight. And then I died. Basically, he tried to block me, he turned to a bear. And then I fucking trapped myself like a fucking idiot. It was a, such a dumb move, by the way. Now that I think of it, I probably could have killed the Trent. But the duration of a Trent is really long. So then he just punched me to death and I died. Well, sometimes it happens like this. I just don't showcase the times where I fuck up. Because I found this moment not very entertaining. That's it. All right, let's look in another suspicious moment. Mm, interesting. I'm not sure why he chose this moment in particular, by the way. But I do remember I died here. And I'm trying to figure out what is so fucking suspicious about this. By the way, here is the video, which is a new Slayer Max damage. Once again, he did not include links. He did not credit me. He accused me. The fucking he did. But uh, anyway, let's actually check, you know, the whole thing. So this is the fight from my perspective. I use a pot, I turned around, hit, another hit, try to duck, but the duck didn't work. I'm very low. And if he, he fucking shot me to death, I believe that's like I don't understand why did he chose this clip when I am pretty sure I have a lot better clips than this. If this is the best he can do, this is a weak ass evidence. Like this is a horrible evidence, like but actually, let's check what he has to say in his video here. Alright, so hit, hit, arm hit, frame by frame, let's take a look. I aim, I aim past him, play with Falchon, off meta again, a crystal sword. He's not necessarily my counter, but he is a PDR. I aim past him, probably not the smartest thing to do. To rush at people with a falchion, you want to keep distance with the falchion. I hit him with a handle. 
probably did barely any damage. I hit him in the arm, by the way, if you can see. And he hit me in the arm, it seems like. So I aim for the head, I hit him in the arm. Then what? I try to make sure I don't land because the attack comes from the left. I don't want to hit his arm. I want to hit his head. So I do a drag. I end up hitting his body. Okay. That was actually quite cinematic, let's be real here. Alright, he hits me. I'm barely fucking alive. I do a third attack. I try to duck, I think. It just, it happens so fast, it happens in fucking seconds. I hit him and I instantly start to look back because I don't want to get hit. And I know that I already did damage, so it doesn't, there's no point to aim for him. The first worry thing I noticed in the description is he included his stream labs. So he did not include my channel, he did not include the source where he took the clips out, but he put the stream labs. <laughs> By the way, I haven't sent this link, I'm gonna send it um, in the process once I'm done making this video. I would assume he's gonna delete it. He already deleted previous comments, so whatever. Oh, by the way, if I haven't mentioned yet that SDF has already watched this video, and there's one thing I want to say, Wilson Games, you are nothing but a clown. You're a respected person, but now you're just trying to make up evidence. By the way, Wilson Games already admitted that he made a bunch of stuff for entertainment. In his second episode, the whole first video, he took out important footage out of context to make me look more suspicious. And um, other content creators, including OnePack, acknowledged that. Anyway, I'll see you.